Good morning. Today is Sunday, February 11th. My name is Jillian Major, and I'm a Sunday school teacher here at First Congregational Church, United Church of Christ in Muskegon, Michigan. Each week, I'll be sharing a story and an affirmation from the Progressive Christianity curriculum, which First Congregational Church has purchased, but we do not own the copyrights to. Our lesson today is forgiving and healing, and the affirmation is as follows. I forgive as I can, and my heart is filled with light. The story is St. Jerome and the Lion. Long ago, a wise and kindly monk named Jerome lived out in the harsh desert with his brother monks. They studied and translated the Bible and served God with great love. Because he served God with extraordinary devotion, they later called him St. Jerome, and artists liked to paint pictures of him, studying his books with a huge lion sleeping by his feet. Do you wonder why a lion would be in the picture? I'll tell you. The desert was home to many wild creatures, so the monks were careful about going far from the monastery. But one day they came running to St. Jerome, yelling about a lion coming into the garden. Jerome realized the lion was not threatening the monks, but seemed to be in pain, so he approached the lion with love and offered to help. The lion held up one paw where a huge thorn was stuck in the soft pad and, they had, and had caused an ugly infected wound. Jerome sent the monks running for bandages. Then he took care of the lion's paw and offered it food and a place to rest. When the wound was healed, the lion did not return to the desert, but stayed with Jerome and liked to sleep under his desk. The monks pointed out to Jerome that the lion ate a great deal of food and should find a way to be useful. So it was agreed that the lion could go with their donkey out to the pasture each day. The lion would protect the donkey from wild beasts and bring it in when it was time for the donkey to haul the firewood into the monastery. The donkey and the lion became friends and served the monks with care. But one day, the lion slept so soundly in the shade in the pasture, he did not hear a caravan of merchants approach. The merchants saw only one lone donkey, and they took it to use as their own. When the lion awoke to find the donkey gone, he searched the desert for hours before turning to the monastery, sad and ashamed of his failure. The monks feared the lion had eaten the donkey, and they insisted that he be given the donkey's job of hauling firewood as punishment. Jerome could not believe the donkey had been eaten, but he agreed the lion should help now that the donkey was gone. The lion worked hard without resentment or anger, and he spent his night searching for his donkey friend. One night, in the light of the full moon, the lion saw his donkey friend tied up with a caravan traveling through the, through the desert. He went running up to the caravan, roaring in anger and in joy in seeing his friend. The merchants and camels went running fearfully into the night, and the lion led the donkey back to the monastery. Jerome and the monks were delighted to see the donkey, and the monks were a bit ashamed to find they had been wrong about the lion eating the donkey. When the caravan stopped at the monastery, Jerome treated them as honored guests, not as thieves. When the merchants discovered both the lion and the donkey were friends of St. Jerome, they apologized for stealing and offered large amounts of valuable oil to the monks. When Jerome refused their offer, they insisted they would bring oil each time they journeyed on this route through the desert. They marveled at the tale of Jerome and the lion, and they told it to all who would listen as they traveled through the land selling their goods.